What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the Jumpco Super Mini Force Dino Super Dino Power uh, <laughs> Trihawk That's alright my zillions, we have a Mini Force figure here to do Now if you watched my review last week of uh, the Super Wings figure world aircraft mini world aircraft thing uh, I had this guy in there and I got this guy I, I want to say a couple years back now off of fellow reviewer robot reviewer Soltron uh, and you should check out his channel he's got a lot of unique uh, bots from around the world a lot of Korean stuff uh, which is awesome and uh, he he reviewed this guy and uh, then he subsequently decided to sell it and I was just like I'm gonna buy it and that's not the first time uh, <laughs> I've uh, bought a few things off of him and uh, th this figure is uh, quite cool and it it's interesting because during his review he was unsure because he got it from Sir Toys uh, uh, you know who no is no longer in business as Sir Toys, um, uh, which was a great website, man, and I, I, I really miss it. Um, and I miss, you know, buying stuff off of there, but this was uh, something he got there, and he was unsure if it was a knockoff or not, because that's kind of the name of the game. But after doing some research myself, it's from a company called Jumpco, um, which produces, you know, figures in China. And uh, th this one is not. This was a, you know, it's a smaller version of a of a bigger mini force figure uh, in different colors. So th this is this is a legit figure, and it feels like a legit figure. Now it's not without some quirks, and it's it's not like super clean, but it's been around the block a little bit here. Um, but again, that Super Wings figure. Maybe want to check this one out finally, and here we are. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So I mentioned uh, the Mini Force figure, so we're going to kick things off a little bit differently this time with a size comparison. And these guys were in uh, his review, and they're back again. This was the other figure I picked up from uh, Soltron a while back, the uh, Armored Saurus. I It might have been just these two, but I, I could be misremembering. Uh, I also thought this was from uh, Hello Carbot. It is not. It is from Mini Force. I, my mind went to Hello Carbot. That's another, you know, one of these types of series. Uh, and uh, as well as this guy who is uh, from uh, Tubot. Uh, and I hope to re review that one soon too, though probably not this week. <laughs> This week we got to that one. Uh, but for the more traditional Transformer fans in attendance here, uh, here he is uh, with Starscream so you can see how big this guy is. He's pretty much like a leader class figure. So let's take a look at this guy starting uh, with articulation. His head moves kind of just on the swivel. I mean, you can lift it up by doing that. Now, these arms are really loose at the shoulders. I mean, they stay, but they're very, very loose. There is like, I wanna say like some sort of like very soft ratchet, but I don't know if there is. There, there might've been. Yeah, like you feel like a detent. So I think I can get these to probably be a little bit tighter. Um, maybe, but you know, it's weird because there's ratchets in the legs, so it's weird that the arms would be a little bit loose. Then you do have ratchets going this way on the arm, and as you can hear it, ratchet out with the elbow, so it's very weird that that's kind of loose. So it is what it is. Nothing in the waist, legs, super ratchets, <laughs> two both sides. And going forward as well, you can lift up these hip skirts to help that along. So that's pretty good. That even has ratchets there. And then there, very, very nice. The foot doesn't really, eh, moves a little bit, a little bit of ratchet there. 
So you got some nice ratchets, except for the shoulders, for whatever reason. Um, I don't know. I don't know why the shoulders are loose, uh, but it is what it is. Otherwise, I think the articulation is pretty good. And as you can see, the looks of this guy is quite awesome. And if you've never seen Mini Force, and we've seen quite a bit of Mini Force because Ultrazilla Jr. Uh, loved that cartoon uh, for quite a while. It's a bunch of like little animal characters uh, who basically turn into like Power Rangers and they, depending on the series, they have like different <laughs> like mechs. Some are more Transformer-esque like this, so they turn into vehicles. I think actually most of them turn into vehicles and then they turn into something else as well. This one, as you can imagine, his name is Tri-Hawk. Um, you know, it got turns into a hawk and it turns into a car. A kind of like a Batmobile-esque looking car. Um, he's pretty cool though. He is pretty cool. He's got these like wing things up here, which look very, very nice. I do uh, like him. And uh, I don't know, if, did I put these on the right way? Yeah, right, left. Um, as you can see, there's uh, gold tips up here. You could like put them back and or up. However you want, or you could close them if you want. You could do one of those if you want, like, shorter wings, I guess. You know, but I, I believe this is the proper, from what I've seen, this is the proper way. So, like, a little bit up. So, I, I don't know. It looks pretty good. Either way, no matter how you do it, it looks pretty good. You do have these tires here in the front with silver uh, rims, and they look real Real nice, honestly. The chest looks really good. You got the gold in the middle. You got black. You got red. Painted red. Looks pretty good. A little bit further down, you got white. And you got nice gold here. This is like gold plastic. And this is like a gold paint. So you got more white over here. You got white on the hip skirts. They are a little scratched on mine. Um, I can't... I don't know if that's just a product of being here. Like, again, they've been here. This character... This figure's been around a little while. And he's been, you know, palling around with other figures. <laughs> More gold here. And then the arms are in white. Uh, and then... Oh, oh, let's go do this. I did not realize that. Probably more for transformation. But, yeah, if you need it for, you know, other stuff, you have it. Um... The lower arms from the forearms on down are really, really nice. I like the black and white hands. Oh, that's another articulation point, the hands open. And then uh, if you want to give them a weapon, you can put this little talons down here. So now he has really cool, like, slashing action. That's like his only weapon. So it's pretty good, though. I like it. Uh, it works. I think the arms are pretty good. They move weird because the way they are, it's basically this, and you can, you know, turn them inwards. I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird robot toy. Uh, the lower legs, he's got some nice beefy thighs that look pretty good, just on a white. Then the lower legs here look real nice. You got the gold, you got black, you got white, gold again. Gold plastic, though, down here. Is what it is, you know? You got gold plastic, you got gold. It, it looks good, it looks good. I like his... Bottom of his feet, you got a little uh, little hair here. Why not? And then on the side, you see more wheel stuff. On the back, not much to look at. You got a lot of uh, hair, I guess. Is this the same hair? It's flying around. Get, get off of here. Um, you got the whole back of the car type thing. So we're not going to look at this yet. Not much to look at from the back, honestly. Um, it doesn't look so good. Uh, but it does look really nice from the front, and the head sculpt is pretty excellent, too. As you can see, he's got kind of like a V-fin in the middle here, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like a hawk-type deal. And then the eyes behind it are in gold, and then the mouth is in silver, which means silver and gold. Very nice. And he's got the uh, little wings here. In black at the ears looks good looks wise I really like Trihawk here um, I don't think these are the, you know the original colors but whatever this is from Jumpco uh, it is it looks to be official um, 
pretty good. I didn't get this with a box. I mean, obviously, there was no box to, to start. Um, he did come with directions, though, and uh, I don't have them anymore either. <laughs> I don't know where they went. Uh, it's been a while. So I'll probably find them because they always do turn up. But I don't think I'm going to need him. I think he's pretty good. Got Soltron's video if I need to refer back to uh, that. But I, I like him just like this. It it's really, really nice. Uh, it is the best mode. I'll let you know that right now. It is the best mode. But it, it is very, very, very cool. And while this isn't a Transformer per se, it is a transforming toy. So I think uh, we could see the usual transform and roll out. it uh this car mode is really cool that, that transformation goes really really quick i probably didn't need to speed it up um and i don't know if i really needed to take these off uh, i feel like i could have achieved what i needed to with them on but as you can see yeah very kind of batmobile-esque uh it looks pretty good though you got the gold up here and gold over here and it's all painted gold these ones so that's really really nice the side of the car looks really good you got the painted gold again everything folds up pretty I, you know you get a lot of robot stuff <laughs> on the bottom but you're not really looking at the bottom so i don't think it matters but everything kind of comes together real easy it's super super simple it's mostly like a shell former in a way but uh i do dig it i do dig it it's a really really nice car very very nice rolls awesome and uh these little spoilers in the back look fantastic it looks like they give them a lot of a uh, lot of speed so really 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 nice shape really dig it beautiful honestly and here he is with optimus prime as you can see he is way way bigger than optimus prime so much bigger than a, a Voyager class truck. Um, so yeah, a really big figure and a, a really, really big mode. So I dig it. It's pretty, pretty excellent. And from car mode, uh, let's uh, transform some more and roll out some more into the hot mode. is try hawk in his hawk mode and he's pretty cool now i think i did something different here than what the mode is supposed to be i don't think it's supposed to have these wings looking like this in black i think they're supposed to go like this and maybe these are supposed to come back out but that looks horrible um really really bad don't like that at all if that's the case it doesn't look good like that it doesn't look good like this to me, it only looks good like this. It actually looks like something here. And it kind of matches the way, you know, all of this looks in the front. So I don't have the official directions, like I said. Again, I was just going by that one video and um, I just didn't like how it looked. Um, I, I think this looks way, way better. Um, you know, these, these little clips keep popping out on me. So that's a bit of a nuisance, at least on this one. Um, this one's holding pretty good. So I think the tail looks pretty good. You know, I, I think that turns out very, very nice. Um, the feet are whatever, <laughs> you know. Uh, I wish they were like, like smaller, I guess, shorter. But they're fine. You know, you got the hawk head here. I don't think the mouth opens no nah, the mouth doesn't open but the hawk head itself looks pretty good 
You know what I'm saying? The gold eyes again. You got this red stuff up here. So yeah, this for me this is this is the way to to do the hawk wings because otherwise it doesn't look like wings at all. It just looks bad. So yeah, to me this is the way to go on this guy. Um, definitely my least favorite mode of the three, but it's not like super terrible. Um, it works, you know. It works for what it needs to do. And that's be like this, uh, you know, robotic hawk. Uh, but I, I definitely think the the car mode is awesome and uh, the robot mode is really, really nice. But there you go. Three modes for Trihawk. And for your size comparison in this mode here is Trihawk with a couple of Transformers in Achitor and Nahu I reviewed very recently. Hey, one last thing before we uh, move on to our final thoughts here. I just realized that these things are supposed to be outwards, like this. Like, before I had them all in, and I've had them all in like this since I got this figure. But they are supposed to be out like this. So this backpack thing kind of creates this interesting little, I don't know, spidery type thing in the back. It does make the back look a lot more interesting too. So definitely uh, wanted to uh, say that. And also, I haven't transformed like this now, but I did, you know, look up how this guy was supposed to be configured one last time officially. And uh, this part is the part that's supposed to be out uh, as the, the front of the wings. I don't know why. It looks not good. So even if, like, you know, I did, you know put that back... To where it's supposed to go with, with this <laughs> come on okay here we go like this like with this part out it's kind of I guess it would go like this it's kind of weird like there's nothing here that looks like a wing you know what I'm saying whereas this I don't know that looks like a like the way it's shaped looks like a wing you guys let me know your thoughts down below but Officially, it is supposed to be like that. So, that's a little bit odd in my book. Um, yeah, I don't get it. I don't like it. And I don't get it. Uh, and I will never uh, keep it like that anyway. I do like this robot mode the best. And my final thoughts, I really like this robot and I'm really glad I did it. Uh, thanks again to the Super Wings bot. It's made me want to do some of these other ones I've had open. For a while. Well, I got this guy open, but like the other one, that uh, that two bot, that giant thing, the um, Master V, I believe it's called, like that's been open for a while, and I really would like to get to that soon. But for now, I got to this guy, and uh, this guy is pretty awesome. My one complaint is like, yeah, the uh, shoulders are a little bit loose compared to the rest, because the rest is all beautiful and ratcheted. And it's a really, really nice looking uh, bot mode. It's a really nice looking car mode. The Hawk mode is, is kind of odd. <laughs> uh, something is going to suffer when you have, uh, you know, a triple changer, basically. Uh, but he is good looking in bot mode, and, and that's why I wanted it. Like, the first time I saw it was on Soltron's video, and I was just like, and this is Soltron's figure. Um, well, it's my figure now, but, you know. And it's been my figure for a couple of years. But, uh, yeah, this this is a really nice figure. I got it for this mode. He's going to stay in this mode. It looks really good. Um, so, yeah, I dig it. I really, really do. And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and sub yourself for daily content. And let me help you diversify your collection with some obscure robots, too. Why not? Till next time, peace out, peeps.